But I think some things you have to consider. All right? I believe that the effort is well worth it. But you've got to think about we're in a development cycle. All right? That has to be, you remember, your IVIV is going to be specific to the formulation you're working with in question, all right, and product, okay? You take a product concept, all right, and use that as your target in vivo blood profile. Everybody says, oh, I don't have this information. I said, let me ask you a question. I've done enough products. I asked the physician. I said, what, what's the blood level supposed to be? You know, what do you envision this giving a clinical result? What's the blood picture going to look like? He's going to tell you he doesn't know. I hardly think so. I mean, it wouldn't have gotten out of discovery, would it? So the answer is you have a blood profile to go by and that you can start to do a deconvolution to start your dissolution work. Okay? So don't sit there and say, oh, geez, I don't know. That's, that's nonsense. But what you do is you keep refining it and refining the knowledge base such that your IVIVC then becomes solid as you move towards final product but you have to start it up front, right? As you do your optimizations, you go through iterations with IVIVC, and you continue to validate it. During scale, the dissolution data are then used to generate process impact assessments, all right? Start to sound familiar? Impact assessment, QBD, GMP for the 2001, you know, the whole thing. The answer is the database, again, is knowledge base. It has to be utilized to do further scale-ups, site transfer, and supporting post-approval changes. That sort of sounds like QBD again, doesn't it? But the answer is you've done your homework, you've done the data up front, you've done it early on. So if you could make a change to the process, make a process change which is indifferent in scale, and move a site without having to incur another human study, isn't that a smart way of doing business? Alternative methods that you can do other than doing an IVIVC, and I'm sure you're aware of it, you know, you could use an F2 test. My opinion is these are very weak statistically to do. I've seen people work on it. If you're going to do this, I suggest you use multiple media so at least they can get a sense, the regulatory bodies can get a sense of transit time within the body. What do I mean by multiple media, right? We're going to do acid, we're going to do 7, 5, or we're going to do acid, 4, 5, 6, 8, pH. We're going to do water, and we're going to do a comparison, okay? You can use comparability protocols to your advantage. FDA or regulatory agencies, come on in. Tell us what you're going to do, what your intentions are going to be. Get a buy-in and go like the hammers of hell when you're done. Another way.